Going. No, no, I can't. Oh, sorry, Angel's landing. <laughs> I like I can't open yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. After finishing the Fairyland Loop at Bryce Canyon, we received an exciting email informing us that we won the day before lottery. We we're going to climb Angel's Landing. It was difficult to sleep that night knowing that the chains of Angel Landing were awaiting us tomorrow. We woke up early, enjoyed the two-hour drive, and arrived at Zion for the first time. How was it? It's good. I had to put my camera away on the way up to the top. I was just too nervous to record myself while climbing. On the way down, I was a little bit more brave. <laughs> what you doing? Good view? Bike down begins. And I got the strongest grip of all time. How does it look? <laughs> Man, I baby every step. And then there's no chain. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Huh. This is crazy. This is Precipice and beehive are not scary compared to this. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, it forces you to look off the edge.
Oh yeah. Careful. Wait. Yeah, this one does not have much room to nope. to share on this part. It gets a little bit easier to pass, but this is probably one of the harder parts, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how much farther is it up there? Oh, always. always. It is, eh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Is. Angel's Landing was such a great experience. It was tough. Climbing first to Scouts Landing and then to the Overlook. It pushed my comforts with heights, led to epic views, and pushed me to fatigue even though it was only about five miles round trip. We were nervous that Zion was overhyped, but even after just a few hours in the park, we learned that Zion is a must visit. 